Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial number 13. It's titled Flares and Fireworks. I'm going to combine my two previous tutorials. If you look up here, I have tutorial 11 that was called the Sparkling Flare and I had a tutorial 12 called Fireworks. We're going to build on this tutorial 11. So I'm selecting the tutorial 12, going to the library panel, and I'm opening up the fireworks. There they are there. That fireworks MC movie clip. Here it is up here if you recognize it. Anywhere in the timeline, we're going to right click and select all frames. Going back up to the timeline, right click, copy those frames. I'm going over here and open up to tutorial number 11. I'm going to go to scene 1. Go into my library panel and make a new symbol. And I'm going to call it Firework. F I R E W O R K 1, Firework 1 underscore MC. There it is. Close this panel and click on this one panel. Right click, paste frames. And we just pasted that entire set of information. That whole movie clip now is in this tutorial 11 that we're modifying. Go back to scene one, go back to the library panel and open up the flare movie clip. There it is there. And click on this guide layer. Open this up. I want to make it a normal layer for now. Make it a normal layer. Go back to scene one. And there's that line for that guide. Open up your library panel and this firework number one that we just made drag it oh no not yet lock this temp layer insert a layer call it firework f i r e w o r k one firework one select frame one now open the library panel and drag that firework one and put it right there. Um, I want to go back and look at this flare for a minute. Double click on it and we can see that at frame 25 is the last of that there. So go and open up the firework one. Right click, select it all and drag it up so that it is on frame 25, I think we said. Just want to check. Yes, frame 25. Good. So let's give that a little test. Now the 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 um, the sparkle didn't follow the the track because we took it off as as being a guide. So let's go back to that firework movie clip and lock all the layers. Select the ring four layer. Insert a layer. Call it action script. On frame 60 on my case, insert a blank keyframe. Open your actions panel and put in a stop. S T O P. Open and close bracket, semicolon. Back to the timeline. Now let's make another set of that on this on this stage. 
go back in here. Let's go back to that Flare Movie Clip. And anywhere up in here, right click, select all frames. Go back up, right click, copy frames. Library panel, open a new symbol. And this is going to be Flare F L A I R 1 underscore MC Flare 1 movie clip. So now I have a Flare and a Flare 1. Click on this one frame, right click, paste frames, and we have that here. See these two? And select them, right click, remove those frames. Just pulling this up out of the way. And go back to frame one for a minute. I'm going to unlock the guide layer. All the other layers are locked. Select frame one, get my selection tool. And you see how when I get close, I get that like that right angle triangle, uh, that right angle, and take that and bend that this way so this flare will come up and go like that. It's okay in this position the flare is, but we gotta change the position up here. Now, if I go to frame 25, notice that this is over here. Look, 24, the line's there, the guide I'm talking about, that green guide. So while you're on this frame, go to this frame 20, Four, click on it and you got that little squares fuzzy squares drag it to the right and now that frame has the same information as 24 lock that layer unlock the sparkle layer highlight it and just put that over till that's on that line lock that layer I think that's it for this go back to your library Open up the fireworks layer. We've got to make another fireworks. Open that up. And select from here down and right across to get all these frames. From here down, all in one motion, get that, that action script frame. Click anywhere, right click in this blue, copy these frames back to the library panel. We're going to make another new symbol. It's going to be Fireworks 2. F-I-R-E-W-O-R-K-S 2 underscore MC. There it is. Close this panel. Click on here and right click Paste Frames. And there's our second firework come here on the end this frame here click drag it right down in one motion while they're all blue right click remove those frames let's go back to scene one back to scene one there's two layers I'm gonna close this one off I'm gonna hit the eye right here so we make it invisible that's my firework up there for that one. So I'm going to lock those two frames. I'm going to put in a new frame here called Flare. And open my panel up here. Make sure frame one of that Flare is selected. Open my library. And we want this Flare one be brought on the stage. Close it off and let's move it over. Let's put it here so it's going in total opposite direction to the other one. Lock that layer. Insert another layer. Call it Fireworks. F-I-R-E-W-O-R-K-S. We already have one Fireworks here. Make sure that frame right here is selected. 
and it says fireworks 2 we want this time. Drag it on and put it right there. All right. So now let's go back to the two flares flare movie clip there and let's double click on this layer make it a guide like it was before okay there's the hammer let's draw that one in there let's open the other flare one movie clip there it is close it we want to make it a guide double click make it a guide okay and drag that in there I'm just going to hit my enter for a minute, my enter button, and that follows the guide, so that's working. Now, let's make these happen at a different time. Anywhere up in here, right click, select all frames, and click on any one of them and drag it up to about 35, up to frame 35. So this isn't going to happen till frame 35 and see these two frames here again click on them drag it down in one motion delete it remove remove frames and it's frame 60 that we want this fireworks to be on so go to your library panel open fireworks 2 again right click anywhere select all frames right click excuse me right click select all frames click on any button and drag it up to 60 and there's 60 right there let's go look at the end there's usually something wrong with the end when you do this there we go click here drag down in one motion remove those frames and if everything goes right we should have two sets of flares and fireworks going on there's one there, and there's another one okay let's do one more thing uh, let's open fireworks number two that was already opened lock all the frames but unlock frame four three two and one unlock them click on this one frame all in one motion drag it down pick up your selection tool highlight it so it's all highlighted open your properties panel and right here we have something called color effects see this under style click on it come down to tint and pull all the buttons to the left put the except put the tint all the way up to a hundred Take the red up to so you get this nice red color. All right. Close this property panel. Come over to this keyframe here. Click on it. One motion. Drag it down. I see one line, two lines, three lines. If you don't have all those lines, take your selection tool and select them. Open the properties panel. Oh, I've got to select them again select it open the properties panel colors tint and those ones are the same close this one and click here all in one motion pick up your selection tool let's make this a little smaller make sure it's all highlighted open the properties panel tint and now we should have one of those sets of flares of fireworks being red. Let's test our movie. There goes the white set. And there comes the red set. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And I hope you use what you learn.